in late May I made a video where I predicted UEFA Euro 2020 with a special focus on the group stage, but also adding in the knockout phase just for fun. Now that the group stage is over, the bracket has turned out to be quite different uh, from my original prediction, so it's only natural that I should update these predictions now. I'll just read top to bottom, left to right, until we're at the final. I know that you see some crazy predictions here, but please just wait until I have at least explained them before you downvote this video and tell me to end my life or something. Belgium against Portugal in the round of 16. Truly shocking, I thought that this would be the final. In the final I predicted that Belgium would win it 1-0 after extra time, but the round of 16 is uh, very different from the final. Uh, the players won't be as nervous, I don't think they'll feel as much pressure, which will result in more goals. So, and I'm gonna say 3-2 Portugal. Belgium have been more consistent. Portugal were great against Hungary, and they're good to manage a 2-2 draw against France, but they also lost 4-2 to Germany. So they can definitely lose 3-2 to Belgium, who have been completely flawless thus far. Not to mention they have a world-class squad. Portugal does as well, but I think Belgium are a bit better, as I said. Yeah, Italy 2-0 against Austria. Pretty straightforward. Can't really argue with that. Italy have been emphatic, but I think their performance is a bit inflated due to having home advantage in every group match. But they've of course still been great, and I definitely think they'll beat Austria comfortably 2-0. France against Switzerland 1-0. Might seem a bit narrow, but Switzerland is not a bad side. Even though they could only manage a second place finish, they did get really unlucky against Wales though and probably should have won that. Uh, they should have had a penalty if I recall correctly and they also had an offside goal which was a correct decision but it was still very narrow, it's the main point here. Yeah, uh, 1-0 France, best thing in the world, not too controversial. Uh, this would be an upset, but perhaps it isn't so much anymore after Spain has been quite underwhelming in the group stage, but I think Croatia will manage to draw and win the penalty shootout. Spain did get into good shape against Slovakia winning 5-0, but they also uh, drew with Sweden and Poland, and I think maybe Croatia is a bit... I mean, I think Croatia is about on the same level as those, so I think they'll also manage to draw, and at the 2018 World Cup Croatia showed us that they were great at penalties, so I think they will reign supreme in the shootouts. Sweden and Ukraine. Uh, I would have had higher hopes uh, for Ukraine had they performed better in the group stage, but they were very, very underwhelming. You can lose to the Hull, to Netherlands, that's fine, but they also lost to Austria and were never really close. So I think Sweden will get a 1-0 win. It could honestly be higher, but I also think Sweden has gotten a little bit lucky in the group stage. We got, with the, got, we got the last minute winner against Poland, but we have played quite well as well, so I don't want to diminish our success too much, but yeah, 1-0 against Ukraine seems fair. Yeah, England against Germany in London. I do think it's going to be one of those standard England losses after a penalty shootout. E even at home, I think they will lose it. England has got some better at penalties recently, but um, I still think Germany will reign supreme because they are the absolute king of penalties. If it was a neutral soil, I would have a German win in under 90 minutes, but I think it will be a draw because England has home advantage. Yeah, I mean, England has been underwhelming. Germany has been, I mean, not great, but they were great to beat Portugal, but they also dropped points against Hungary, so I mean, they're both a bit inconsistent, but I think Germany will just edge them up. The Netherlands against the Czech Republic. The Czechs have been good, but the Netherlands have been better, even though they had home advantage, so it's maybe a, a bit understandable, but I think it will be a respectable win for the Netherlands to do one. Yeah, maybe Schick will score another penalty. Or a header, who knows, or maybe a crazy goal like the one against Scotland. Wales did obtain one more point in the group stage, but uh, I mean, Denmark lost under ex extreme circumstances to Finland, so I don't want to hold that against them too much. They were also great against Belgium, even though they lost, and they are better on paper and better managed, so I think the Denmark will just edge Wales out even though the Welsh are a respectable side. Alright, quarterfinals. Uh, Italy might be favourites heading into a match against Belgium since they've played so great, but Belgium have also been really solid. I think Belgium will just edge them out after extra time. Belgium has not failed to score since the 2018 semi-final against France, but meanwhile Italy have not conceded a goal in, I think it's crazy, I mean it's a lot of games basically. It's a very solid record, but I think Belgium will end it, end it and win. It's unfortunate that these two sides face each other as soon as the quarterfinals. They, they're worthy of the final, or at least semi-finals, in my opinion. Uh, France-Croatia, a replay of the World Cup final, 4-2. They also... <laughs> uh, and France also won 4-2 in the Nations League, so yeah, whatever. I think it's gonna happen again. France just are a bit better than Croatia, that's simply it. Sweden-Germany in the quarterfinals, ah, really close. Germany ugh, have been inconsistent, but I think they'll just ugh, just narrowly squeak by after extra time. I, I think it's gonna happen, unfortunately, even though I of course want us to win. Netherlands against Denmark, so this is the first crazy upset probably. But I mean, if you look at Denmark's player, they're so good on paper, and they have a, a great manager. The Netherlands have been flawless thus far, 
but do keep in mind that they have had home advantage in all matches. Uh, to be fair, Denmark had that as well, but I mean, the Christian Eriksen incident makes their struggles a bit more understandable and forgivable. And the Netherlands have been a bit shaky prior to that. I mean, 2-2 against Scotland in a friendly, for example, and they lost 4-2 to Turkey. So I don't think this would be a crazy upset, even though it would of course be a bit of an upset. I think Kasper Schmeichel would be a hero in the penalty shootout and win. He were great against. He was great against Croatia in the World Cup, but his, t his teammates just couldn't convert their penalties. But I think they will be more, they have more experience now and will be more ice cold from the penalty spot and managed to win. Yeah, this is the s same semi-final I had as uh, in my May video, Belgium against France. I do still stand by that prediction. I think the Belgium will edge out France 1-0. They are two very solid sides, and either could win. France, uh, Belgium will get the revenge for the semi-final defeat in 2018. You shouldn't overestimate the impact of individual players like Hazard being injured or missing football is a team sport at the end of the day, and I think Belgium will just narrowly edge at France 1-0. Germany against Denmark. This was I had I had those two facing each other in the quarterfinals in my original prediction, and in that quarterfinal I predicted Denmark to win 2-1. So I'm just gonna stick by that prediction and say 2-1 Denmark. They are my dark horse for the tournament, and Germany have proven that they are inconsistent. 2-2 at home against Hungary, and Denmark are better than Hungary in my opinion. And also, I mean, 2-1 to North Macedonia. Uh, Denmark and Germany did draw against each other in uh, friendlies, uh, in a friendly leading up to the Euros. But, uh, but I think Denmark will just manage to find that second goal this time. Belgium against Denmark in the final. Yeah, Belgium, they defeated Denmark home and away in the Nations League, not to mention away at the group stage of this tournament, so I have to give Belgium an edge here. They're just uh, cut above Denmark, so I think Denmark will not get their second Euro title, instead Belgium will get their first. Uh, thanks for watching, please tell me your predictions in the comment section. Do keep in mind that I know that these results are upsets, but I want to try predicting those as well. I mean, who would have been able to predict uh, Wales reaching the semi-final by beating Belgium in 2016 for for example. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video.